make a greater effort before the month of Ramadan. You never know. You may not witness the month of Ramadan. Start reading Quran from now. A verse a day. Is that too much? A verse a day. I've had people come back to me and tell me, you, uh, you encouraged us to read a verse a day. We're reading a quarter juice a day. Some say a page a day. Some say we can't get, you know, we started off at a verse because the Quran is full of love. When you give it, it gives you. Give it a little bit of time. It will draw you to it. It will bring you closer to it. It will give you that contentment because it is the word of Allah. In the Quran, there is Shifa. There is a powerful statement I'd like to make here. Many of us, when we get sick, we say, please give me something to read. I want to read. Yes, there are things to read. There are surahs to read. Indeed, Surah Al-Falaq, Surah Al-Nas, Ayat Al-Kursi, etc., etc. And there are sunnah du'as to read. A'udhu bi izzatillahi wa qudratihi min sharri ma ajidu wa uhadir. A'udhu bi kalimatillahi tamati min sharri ma khalaq. When people get sick and ill, they say, give me something to read. I'd like to read. Because there is shifa in the Quran. There is cure in the Quran. Allah says, shifa'un lima fi sudur. Describing the Quran, that it has in it cure for the sicknesses and diseases that man faces in his chest in his bosom may Allah grant us goodness so when you read Quran every day from the beginning to the end you will be reading verses in which there is cure of a disease you have that you don't know you have and perhaps by the blessing of that you would be cured of a disease that you didn't ever know you had and one day on the day of judgment Allah will tell you do you know you had this disease what do you know you had that disease what but we cured you by the barakah of our word. You read the Quran often and you were cured before you were diagnosed. Did you know this? A person could be having cancer. May Allah grant cure to all those who are struggling with any disease. Ameen. 